Hola, interwebs. This is Naked Pancake 22 with my first episode on spawn trapping. This is on invasion. Invasion, the flags are set up in a line, so it's relatively easy to spawn trap them. You're going to want to hold two and let the enemy team have the other one. You want to hold A on invasion, and you're also going to want to hold B. B is the central flag, and it's extremely important to have it regardless of what side you're spawn trapping them on. In this, you want to let them have C because the spawn at C is very messed up and perfect for spawn trapping. They're going to spawn in this little area before the stairs. And uh, there's a few other places that they're going to want to spawn. They're going to want to spawn in this field. So you have to have people watching this to make sure that they can't get out and don't spawn. They're also going to spawn in the ice cream shop. This is uh, kind of bad because you want to be able to destroy them with air support. If you have somebody in the field behind here, uh, it will prevent them from spawning in the field for sure, and they'll be much less likely to spawn in the store. This spawn point is the most important. You want them to spawn here all the time. You can't go anywhere in this courtyard, or they're going to switch spawns, and that's bad. They're probably going to go to A side. Now, what you want to do is uh, watch this courtyard, Maybe because you want to keep them inside their spawn, obviously. Maybe you want to have two, maybe three guys watching this. Here's another spot you could sit, and here's another spot by this dumpster. What's really important that you do for this, these guys is watch the alley right behind here. You might not watch it. This guy could, or this guy up here could. These guys are here to make sure they don't come down this alley and get out of the spawn trap. This guy is less important, but they're less likely to come down here. You could live without him, but if you want a guy sitting there, it, it'll work. If you take cover behind this Jeep, you're definitely going to want to make sure it's exploded, or the Hummer rather. Now, you want a guy on that bridge probably, and you're going to want to run back and forth checking these spawns. The reason you, you also want to make sure that hallway is clear, the reason that you're going to want a guy on that bridge is so they're less likely to spawn in that courtyard and run over to the side where you may choose to not have a person. You want to watch that store and watch the courtyard. More than likely you're going to watch them spawn. And it's just easy kills. And for the win. Probably they're going to quit out. It happens, I'd say 80% of the time, that half or all of the team quits out. Some of those people are troopers. They'll stick in there and go 2-40. and 40, But, uh more than likely you're gonna lose the other team they're gonna spawn right here and you're just gonna punch them in the face they're gonna spawn here and here if you decide to spawn trap them on the A side the A side is less than ideal but if you can't make the switch then that's where you're gonna to wanna to trap them you need a guy posted up in this blue building and you definitely wanna watch here if you have them at A you need to give them breathing room or else they're gonna move spawns because A is more more of a touchy spawn, where C, you can just punch him in the face. So yeah, that's my video on spawn trapping. Subscribe for more, if you want to, and uh, feel free to thumbs up. Say ya.